watching the Hogwarts Facts, and today we're talking about the most famous house at Hogwarts, and it's Gryffindor, of course. Gryffindor students are known to be brave, daring, and willful. Godric Gryffindor was a great friend of Salazar Southern. Godric was known to be the best duelist at his time. The name Godric has several meanings, like the one who rules with the good and the one who rules with God. J.K. Rowling also once stated that if Godric was still alive, he'd be the giant squid in the Hogwarts lake. He valued courage, determination, chivalry, and strength of heart. Sir Nicholas died because he met a woman and said he could straighten her crooked teeth, but it didn't work. Instead, she grew a tusk. He was immediately sentenced to death after that. He has long curly hair and speaks in an airy, delicate tone. The Gryffindor command room is located in one of the castle towers. In the room, there's a fireplace and two staircases leading up to the boys' and the girls' dormitories. There's a spell on the girls' staircase that prevents boys from using it. However, the these However, there's no such spell on the boys' staircase. The common room is very comfortable and very practical for relaxing, celebrating, and studying. Minerva McGonagall was born on the 4th of October 1935 in Scotland and is head of Gryffindor and is currently headmistress of Hogwarts. The sorting hat sorted her into Gryffindor and it took it five and a half minutes to decide where to sort her in Ravenclaw or Gryffindor. After school, she worked at the Ministry of Magic, but two years later, she returned to Hogwarts where she became head of Gryffindor. As a student, she was a perfect and a hit girl. McGonagall is one of the few animaguses, so she can turn into a tabby cat. Her Patronus is a cat. Because you already know everything about Harry, Ron, and Hermione, I'm going to talk about Neville, Longbottom, Dumbledore, and Sirius Black. Neville was mostly a shy and clumsy inner introverted boy who was constantly being told by his grandmother that he wasn't good enough or living up to his parents' accomplishments. But later he showed the, that he possessed great courage and became a important member of Dumbledore's army. He destroyed the seventh and final Horcrux, Voldemort's snake Nagini. He later married Hannah Abbott. Dumbledore was born in summer 1881 and died on the 30th of June 1997, so he, he aged all the way to 115 years and was headmaster of Hogwarts from 1971 to 1997. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Literally, please subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.